sister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! Run! Hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! Help, Francine. Sure you do. Hold out your toothbrush. <sighs> Francine, knock it off. This isn't funny. Sure is, Lloyd. <laughs> give me my toothpaste, Francine. <laughs> you really want it? Yeah, give it to me. Are you sure? I said give it to me. Okay. <laughs> you were wrong, Lloyd. This is really, really funny. Bye. <sighs> Francine, honey, aren't you going to pour yourself some cereal? No, Mommy. This morning, Lloyd's going to do it for me. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's a nice fat chance. Hey! Thanks, Lloyd. Hey, I got the prize! Ah! I can't take it anymore! Francine and her stupid powers are driving me crazy! I'm thinking about moving away to live with my crazy Uncle Zoomy and the yippity doo, -doo system. It's the perfect solution! No, no, Lloyd. I know Francine can be irksome and frustrating and tiresome and immature and petty and cruel and fantastically annoying. Um, what was I getting at? What you should be getting at is I don't care how annoying she is. No Big Brother worth his Big Brother title should let his little sister walk all over him. Easy for you to say. You don't even have a little sister. Yeah, well, so what? If I did, I'd show her who's who. And you know how? I'd just ignore her. Ignore her? How am I supposed to ignore someone who could read my mind, levitate my stuff, and throw me around the room? The best things in life never come easy, my friend. But mark my words. Creepy little kids like her, they crave attention. You ignore her, and it'll drive her crazy. It's the perfect solution. I guess it's worth a try. Oh, no, Inspector. We're stranded on the asteroid. That's right, Silicon. But not to worry. We can turn our shipwreck shuttle into a hut. And these pulp cords will make a perfectly good electrofusion generator. Well, that's all well and good, Inspector. But look, Silicon's taking a bath in our last gallon of drinking water. Silicon! Hi, Lloyd. That show's dumb. Do something fun with me. Lloyd? Hey, Lloyd! I'm ignoring you. Ouch! Still ignoring. must continue to ignore. You can't ignore me, Lloyd, because I love you. Yes, I do. I love you, I love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. All right, that does it. <laughs> hey, that was funny, too. Mom, I've had it with Francine. She's so annoying, I can't even ignore her. <sighs> All right, Lloyd, have a seat. Francine, dinner. Oh, did someone say dinner? I can't wait for some witty dinner time repartee. Give me food. Oh, for Zoom kite. Thanks. Francine, Lloyd tells me you've been bothering him. Is that true? Yeah, but I'm done now, Mommy, and I'm very sorry. Thank you for the yummy dinner. You're welcome, sweetie. Oh, brother. So, Lloyd, how was your day at school? Oh, same old stuff. Mrs. Bolt blew a gasket. You mean she got mad? No, she actually blew a gasket. She blew the seal on her transmission, and the whole first row got splattered with oil. The big LV on Britney's sweater will never be the same. Then they had to bring in Mr. Destructo, the substitute robot. That's always a drag to- Ow! Hey, Mom, did you see that? See what, honey? Francine hit me in the head with a spickle sprout. Francine, please control your food and leave your brother alone. Sorry, Mommy. I couldn't help it. <gasps> hey! 
was you. It was on account of I'm feeling kind of sick. Oh, please. My, Francine, your antenna does feel cold. Rub it with the stick. That'll warm it up. Lloyd, come on, Francine. Let's go take your temperature. I think you really are coming down with something. Told ya. Station, I'm telling you, I would give anything, anything, if somehow, someday, that girl would just lose her crummy powers. Good morning, Lloyd. Morning. So where's Francine? I'm right here. Hooray for me. Good morning, sweetie. Are you feeling any better? No. Great. Now she is here. I should have poured my cereal when I had the chance. <sighs> All right, Francine. Let's get this over with. Here I go. Ha! My cereal. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm crying. Uh, uh, uh. Francine, why did you spill Lloyd's cereal? I didn't mean to. I was trying to steal it, but uh, it's just not coming to me. I can't make it move! I can't make anything move! Hey, what a drag. Well, can you at least read my mind and tell how I'm thinking tough luck, toots? No! I can't! Mommy! Now, Francine, calm down, honey. But I can't lose stuff or read people's minds! You'll be okay. No, Young lady, open your mouth and think. Ah. Hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Now please read the top line of the chart I'm visualizing in my mind, left to right. Mm, I can't. I see. Well then, how about if we levitate this little hammer out of my coat pocket and strike ourselves on the knee? Mm, I can't. Very, very interesting. Can you bend the spoon? Mm. Of course, I meant with your brain waves. No, I can't. Now, what's wrong with me? She's got chronic brat disease. Lloyd. Sorry. Not. <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Yab Mom. So what's wrong with me? Well, young lady, you have what we doctors call slack nodes syndrome. What's that? It just means that a virus has infected the inner telepathic receptor cavity of your spuftron gland, and the resulting congestion is interfering with neurotransmission. It's like a cold in her head. Are you sure that's what it is? Commander Nebulon, please. I have been a pediatric telekinesiologist for 20 years. I graduated first in my class from Flarvard Medical Planet. I've seen countless cases of slack node syndrome, and trust me, your daughter has slack nodes. It'll last for 24 hours, and then once it clears up, she'll be completely back to normal. Here, have a sucker. 24 hours? How long is that? It's one day, honey. What? You mean I'm going to live my powers for one whole day? <laughs> That's right, guys. A whole day. The doctor said it herself. First, I thought it was just a glitch or maybe some kind of trick. But nope, the mini mutant is actually out of commission and on a Saturday to boot. Your endless days of suffering are temporarily over at last. What are you gonna do, Lloyd? Have a party? Start a hobby? Travel? No, Kurt. For the first time in five years, I plan to just kick back and enjoy some peace and quiet. Peace and quiet? What are you talking about? You don't want peace and quiet? I don't? Whoa, no. After all the jokes she's done to you, what you want is revenge. I mean, just think. For a whole day, you can flex your big brother muscles and she can't do a thing about it. Eddie makes a valid point. If you were ever going to give Francine a taste of her own medicine, today would be the day. Hey, I hadn't thought of that. That's what friends are for. Now, let's see. What sort of sweet payback can we rustle up? How about if you sneak into her room and put all of her toys on the highest shelf just out of her reach? I know that's a nightmare of yours, Dougie, but it's a little too tame. I know. Shut her in a closet while you mess with her stuff. Describe what you're doing so she can hear it, but she can't do anything to stop you. Hey, Francine, I'm playing with Rosie. Whoops, I pulled her arm off. I know, Lloyd. Mimic her. It'll make her crazy. Nah, I don't know, guys. Nah, I don't know, guys. Please don't do that, Kurt. Please don't do that, Kurt. Knock it off. Knock it off. No? No. Look, guys, those are all good ideas, but they're too obvious. They'll get me busted. I gotta think up something sneaky and clever. So Francine never even knows what's hitting her. Did you have a nice nap, sweetie? I've had better. Well, I've got some fin bat noodle soup cooking on the stove. Come out when you're ready and I'll give you lunch. Aw, oh, Francine. How you feeling, little sis? Crummy. What's it to you? Well, I thought that these might make you feel better. Hey, balloons. 
How come you brought me those? Well, you know, Francine, I've been feeling extremely crummy about the way I treated you at the doctor's office, so I decided that to make it up to you, I'm gonna treat you better, like big brothers are supposed to do. Really? Really. Here, let me help you with those socks. Oh, thanks. I could do it, only it's kind of hard without my powers. I completely understand. In fact, I bet there are a whole bunch of things that'll be hard for you to do without your powers. But not to worry, I'm here to help you out. Gee, Lloyd. Now, you've got your socks on, let's put on your shoes. But those shoes got laces, and I don't know how to tie shoelaces without my powers. Of course. Well, hey, what if I teach you how? It's easy. Okay. The way I learned was with a funny little story. All you gotta do is take a lace in each hand. That's right. Now, just follow this story. Here comes the fluff rat. Here comes the other fluff rat. Hi, fluff rat. You're cute. You're cute, too. Uh-oh. Here comes Farmer Zorch with his atom blaster. Quick, fluff rat. Follow me around the tree and into the hole. Round and round they go. Hey, get out of my way. No, you get out of my way. They wrestle each other out the back door. And uh-oh, there's Farmer Zorch. So they quick scamper up his pants. Farmer Zorch screams and runs in circles. Then he does a backflip into the lake, where he sinks to the bottom and comes up in an underwater cave. Fortunately, there's enough air in the cave for all three of them. They throw a party, spin around till they get dizzy, and dance a wacky jig. Bow to your partner, and you're done! I did it! Way to go! Now let's go check on lunch. <gasps> I guess my fuzz rats got all tangled up. Oh, that's okay. It happens to us non-telekinetic folks all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Francine. Fresh, pulp-free pulp gourd juice, full of vitamins. Thanks, Lloyd. <laughs> oh, no, Lloyd. You're better at this using your hand stuff than I am. I should have let you pick it up. That's okay. I'll make another picture and you can try again. Okay, now that you've had your lunch, it's time to brush your teeth. But I never brush my teeth after lunch. Francine, you're sick. You do want to kill the germs in your head, don't you? Yeah. Then you've got to brush your teeth. But don't worry, it's easy. All you gotta do is pick up your toothbrush, pick up the toothpaste, take off the lid, and squeeze. Nothing's coming out. Hmm, you better squeeze harder. <sighs> Nothing's still coming out. That's okay. Sometimes we hand you some people find that we just need to look right into the opening and give it an extra big squeeze. Go ahead. <laughs> ah, I see our problem. An army man's head was blocking the tube all along. What an unfortunate and unexplainable freak accident. Hey, how about if we play a game? Um, do you have any slimy Sams? Nope. Go fish people. <sighs> Darn, I'm not getting any matches today. I like go fish people, but it sure is funner when I can read your mind. If you could read my mind, then that would be cheating. Us regular brain people find that the greatest reward comes from winning honestly. Now, let's see. <sighs> any, uh, salty sallies? Oh, no, I have four! Looks like I win again. Ha, ha, ha. Come to Papa. Hmm, what next? Hey, I know! Help me, Francine, help me! <sighs> Please, Francine, help me! Oh, oh, oh! Help, help, help! Wasn't this a great idea, Francine? Isn't Dangle the Dolly fun? Uh, but I can't get her! Oh, Francine, I love you! Please rescue me! Please, <sighs> please! Oh, fuck. Stay right there, Francine. I'll be back for more sick time amusement in a minute. Well, hello there, Francine. How are we feeling this after... Goodness me, you're all sweaty and out of breath. Yeah, I've been jumping around a lot. Jumping around? Well, shouldn't you be resting? Lloyd said this would be fun. Oh, yes, I heard that Lloyd was spending the day with you. What a splendid arrangement. I'm not so sure it is. He says he's helping me get along without my powers, but I keep having a crummy time anyway. Like jumping for Rosie. Well, I think Lloyd's wrong. It's no fun at all. I see. And how exactly does forcing you to jump for your dolly help you get along without your powers? Well, you see... Hey, good question. I'm gonna go ask him. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen her, guys. Jumping around like a trained amphibian. <laughs> that is bold, man. I thought you were gonna keep it sneakier. No need to, Eddie. I've got her so fooled, she really thinks I'm helping her instead of getting the payback I so richly deserve. Payback, huh? Uh, sorry, wrong number. <laughs> 
Why, Francine? I was just telling the guys how I was taking care of you. I know what you're doing, Lloyd. Well, your payback's over, but I haven't even started with you. In case you forgot, tomorrow morning I'll be all better. My powers will be back. I'll be waiting for you, Lloyd. And when you show up at breakfast tomorrow morning, I'm going to mop the ceiling with your head. Here's your float meal, sweetie. I'm waiting for Lloyd. Oh, that's nice. Hello, Lloyd. Hello, Francine. My cold's all better, Lloyd. I feel great. You know what that means, don't you? Then prepare for the worst. Fine, but first I just want to say one thing. Yesterday was maybe the most glorious day of my life. Getting to mess you up like that, well, it was way worth whatever you're going to do to me now. And if I ever got the chance, I'd do it all over again. You done? Completely. Then get ready for payback. Go ahead. Make my morning. Really? But I thought you were feeling better. I am, but my powers still ain't working. But that doctor lady said your powers would come back when your cold went away. But they didn't! Maybe they'll come back tomorrow. Or maybe my powers are gone forever! No! Hmm, yes. Exactly as I suspected. So what's the problem, Doctor? Well, one thing is certain. Your daughter does not have slack node syndrome. But you told me she absolutely did have slack node syndrome. What else could she have? That's where I come in, Commander Nebulon. I'm a medical professional. My training tells me she's experienced an acute case of synaptositis. Kappa what? <laughs> synaptositis. It's pretty similar to slack node syndrome, only with one minor difference. Am I gonna get my powers back or not? No, that's the difference. Your powers are gone forever. But you said I would get my powers back. Sorry, nobody's perfect. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> Francine, honey, it's gonna be okay. No, it won't be. Nothing's ever gonna be okay again. <laughs> man, oh man, Lloyd. You must be feeling on top of the universe. Finally, the Francinator's out of commission for good. It's the happiest day of your life. I don't know, guys. I just don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Have you or have you not used up five perfectly good birthday wishes wishing for this day? Well... Do you or do you not have a huge list of stuff you've dreamed of doing when she wouldn't be able to stop you from doing it? I guess. Then whatever could be your problem. That's just it. I don't know what my problem is. There you go, honey. You want to come out now and have some lunch? I'm not hungry. Okay, well, how about if you come sit on my lap? We could watch some TV together. I don't want to watch TV. I just want to sit here by myself. Okay, honey. I'll be back to check on you in a little while. Hi, Lloyd. Hey, Mom. Are you okay? I'm all right. I'm just concerned about your sister. Yeah, it really is kind of a bummer. Losing her powers and all. It's a lot more than just a bummer. For Francine, it's a huge setback. She depends on her powers just like we depend on our eyes and our hands. She needs them just to do the simple things we always take for granted. Now that she's lost them, she's going to have to learn everything all over again. Francine's life has changed forever, Lloyd. This is going to be a really tough time for her. She's worried. And she's scared. And she's going to need us more than ever. Do you understand? Yeah, Mom. I think I do. <laughs> hey, Francine. Hey, it's Lloyd. Ha ha. You come to laugh at me some more? Nah, I figure we both already got enough laughs out of each other. I saw you were trying to tie your shoes. I thought maybe you could use some help. Yeah, right. You want to trick me again. There's no way I'm letting you tie my shoes. I'm not going to tie them for you, but I will teach you how to do it yourself, if you're interested. And I promise, I won't trick you. Seriously, Francine, I want to help. Not just with your shoes, but with everything. Okay. All right, so take your laces in your hands. And good morning, Mr. Tufflepuss. Good morning back to you. Let's take a trip around the park to see the lovely view. Look at me, I'm brushing my teeth. That's the way you do it. Bye, Stinky Stevies. I win, Lloyd. I win the game. And I wasn't even a big rotten cheater. Good for you, sis. See, Francine? You can still levitate stuff. All you need is a rope. You know what? I'm starting to like being normal after all. Thanks, Lloyd. Don't mention it, Fran. It's what I'm here for. Lloyd, Francine, breakfast. After you, Francine. Why, thank you. Good morning, kids. Oh, here, Francine. Let me pour your cereal for you. Uh-uh-uh, Mom. Francine's pouring her own cereal this morning. Lloyd's teaching me how to be normal. Oh, well, that's great. Help yourself. Remember, Francine, 
poor from the wrist. Oopsie. Hey, that's okay, that's okay. Did you see that, Mom? First solo cereal. I'd say she did pretty darn good. Why, uh, certainly. Very good, sweetie. Now the juice. Ta-da! Way to go! Bravo! And now, Francine, the milk. Oh, yeah, the milk. Francine! What? You moved the milk without touching it. I did? Yeah, do it again. Move something else. You did it! Hey, what am I thinking? You're thinking... Give me back my ball! That's right! Well, what do you know, Francine? Your powers are back! That's terrific! Hooray! That dumb old doctor was wrong again! I'm not no normal kid at all! Look at me, Mommy! Look at me, Lloyd! Look what I can do! <laughs> well, Mom, the old Francine is definitely back! Ugh. And that really is a good thing, right? Trust me, Lloyd, it's all for the best. Probably. It's probably all for the best. <laughs>